Oh, well, 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 what do we have here? Android 12 beta 4.1 running, installed, working like a boss on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. The wallpaper, of course, is linked in the description of this video. And no, you do not have fingerprint on display. There is no NFC either. The build is permissive out of the box. It is pre-rooted. However, you can unroot it and safety net is going to pass. And the build is also decrypted out of the box. And wasn't that an awesome intro about this ROM by yours truly? Anyways, what do we have here? Only if I can get this guy to work. There it is. Android 12 beta 4.1 is now available for the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. All thanks to the awesome devs over at Team Evelyn. And yes, Material U is working out of the box. As you can see, I can change the accent color. Right now it is bluish let us go ahead and try the second option there it is you can see the accent color has now changed to a reddish color and you also have the option of themed icons which means all the icons on my home screen should be in the accent color except for third party applications which is why google still mentions this option as beta and yes the assistant lady did kick in and you also have the options of different grids as well have a look at those animations i can write omg there was a little glitch but that is something which you should expect from beta builds other than that smooth pretty smooth let us try to access the google feed here it is no jitters and no lags the lag which you saw was because it was accessing the internet grabbing some information but here it is have a look at that smoothness smooth 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 and this is like eye candy to me because i just tested out miui 12.5.4 based on android 11 on the poco x3 pro 120 hertz crap crap crappy animations this here is like omg we can always go back to styles and wallpapers and change wallpaper you have the live wallpapers also which are baked in of course you do need an active internet connection and you can download them go into curated culture you do have all the pixel exclusive wallpapers as well the weather in the widget works without any issues volume panel bam here it is this is how your volume panel is going to look like pretty great pretty smooth here is the power menu we can also have a look at your quick settings panel bam here it is this is how your quick settings panel is going to look like and before i forget let us check out the recents as well again you can see how smooth they are pixel launcher is present select works without any issues you can go to any url or any recent which has a link here it is you can see this is youtube it has a picture press and hold and i should now be able to share this picture directly there it is share i can now share it with my contacts and all the other fancy stuff here it is chrome is there let us try to open wikipedia and try to type something yes material you working like a boss on google keyboard as well try to access the recent here it is i can share the link directly from my recents dope pretty dope next up let us head over to settings try to scroll there it is no jitters no lags everything is working absolutely fine you do have your notification history the bubbles the priority conversations all those features are present go into battery you do have a battery usage graph and go into battery saver you do have your battery saver master toggle other than that you also have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver you can set a schedule for your battery saver and you can also turn off your battery saver once the phone is charged to 90% you also have adaptive preferences for your battery which has a toggle for adaptive battery and a toggle to enable your battery percentage nothing much to talk about in sound and vibration but if you go into display this is where you have a bunch of things to talk about lock screen display is present aod is there and there it is you can see aod kicked in and double tap to wake also works have a look at those animations oh my god omg omg then you also have now playing but 
do not enable now playing because you might have media lag issues lift to check phone is broken but wake screen for notifications is working without any issues you also have the feature of screen timeout and screen attention is working so if i keep on babbling for around 15 seconds you will see the front camera is going to pop up check whether someone is looking at the screen or not there it is and if it detects that someone is looking at the screen the device will not turn off off or the screen will not turn off then you have dark theme font size can be changed display size can also be changed night light is there colors yes you can switch between natural boosted adaptive and saturated whatever you like whatever floats your boat auto rotate toggle is there enable face detection i don't think so this is working then you also have ambient eq increased touch sensitivity we already checked double tap to wake wallpapers and style all of these things are covered security of course unfortunately we do not have fingerprint on display so the only thing you'll have to bear with is your normal pin password etc then we can jump over to system here in pop-up camera settings yes the pop-up camera works absolutely fine and guess what you have drop detection as well so if it detects that the phone is falling down the front camera is popped out it is going to retract awesome features next up in system we have gestures so here in you do have quick tap and yes they have ported quick tap might be a bit finicky but it does work also make sure you're not using a case and you can also try enabling this option of require stronger taps going to system navigation you can of course swipe to invoke the assistant and change the sensitivity of the left edge and the right edge one-handed mode is present works without any issues as you can see and the other thing you can do is is enable a shortcut for one-handed mode here it is this is the floating button you can have or you can also set a combination for your volume keys for the one-handed mode in case you want to use that other than that you also have your press and hold power button do you want to invoke the assistant prevent ringing by pressing power and volume up together and you also have rules so in case you want to set a feature wherein once you leave your home you want your wi-fi to turn off that is something which you can set in rules then if you go into settings here and you can search for the option called game once you search for game you will get this game dashboard select this guy enable game dashboard and then you can download any game from the google play store once you do that you can go inside the game and as you can see this here is pac-man and you will not get the option of gaming mode right now however do one thing swipe up and then once you're on the home screen switch over to any other application and now if i go back to my game here it is you can see this bar appeared for me and pretty soon this is going to turn into a small floating button once that is done you can tap on it and access the settings or you can tap on this joystick on the top and there it is you can see these are the different options so this here is your screenshot this here is the toggle for your screen recorder this here is fps info and this here is to enable do not disturb mode youtube live works absolutely fine you can stream your games and you can also move this floating bar around in case you want to there it is it is now a small arrow on the left side sorry right side and now it is a small arrow on the left side so yes gaming mode is present working without any issues and as i mentioned at the starting of the video the build is pre-rooted out of the box so all you need to do is go into settings enable magisk hide once that is done go into this second option go into magisk hide one more time and here and make sure you select google play services and google play store if the play store does not show up for you tap on this search make sure that show system apps is enabled and once that is done you should be able to pass your safety net and play store will also be certified which means that you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption picture in picture of course for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium then with respect to your google photos unfortunately this is a build from the pixel 5 what you get is high quality unlimited 
and original which will count against your storage then we can also check if the feature of portrait light is present or not wait for this loading bar to finish and once the loading bar has finished we can go into adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light present working without any issues super important thing to note over here is that it will only work on human objects if i try to edit this picture of my chicken friend try to use portrait light not going to work with respect to the google assistant yes google assistant is present and the lady is there to help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well next last but not the least app opening animations you saw them at the beginning of the video here it is you can see them again at the end of the video as well smooth pretty smooth no jitters no lags google feed again everything is smooth fast buttery smooth is what they call it let us also try to switch between a few applications there it is you can see no jitters no lags everything is absolutely fine so what can i say all i can say is third party developers who do it for free do a better job than xiaomi redmi or poco and this here is the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro running android 12 beta 4.1 like a boss and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you